Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here. It's now time to do a movie review to um Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This is a movie I used to absolutely hate back when I originally saw this movie. But now I'm starting to think this movie is really, really good. It does have quite a few of irredeemable characters, including Eli Mills, um, uh, and the the hunter who the guy who um, takes dinosaurs' teeth out. Sorry about to mention that, but... And also, another terrible character... Is, um... Il is, um... T Toby Jones's character. I can't remember what his name is. But those three characters absolutely sucked. That's the main thing, reason why the though they're the main reason why this movie wasn't the greatest. They're the reasons why I don't. They're they're the reasons why I hate. I hate movie villains. They're the epitome of terrible people. So yeah, I, but I'm no offense to the actors who played them, but the characters. I mentioned. They're, they're irredeemable. But this, but other than that, th th that's the only issue I have with this movie. It could have been a much better movie, but it, this movie I used to absolutely hate because of how disappointing it was. And I actually used to have the Blu-ray of this one, but I got rid of it. And sorry about the rant about those three characters, but this is a really, really awesome movie. This, it, this is definitely my least favorite of the three Jurassic World movies, I think. And I'm, I am stand by my ranking. And I, Before I end this video, I'm going to do a ranking of the Jurassic Park movies. So the ranking, I did a ranking when I reviewed Jurassic World, but I'm going to do it again. My ranking of Jurassic Park movies it goes Jurassic Park, the original, Jurassic World, then Jurassic World Dominion, then Fallen Kingdom, then The Lost World, Jurassic Park, and then Jurassic Park 3. Jurassic Park 3 is the weakest of the Jurassic Park movies, but still decent. So yeah, I do, I do, I did used to have the first three Jurassic Park movies on VHS, like I mentioned in one of my videos, but I got rid of them for no reason. I hope to get all of them on either DVD or Blu-ray. So yeah, I'm gonna give an before I go, I'm going to give the score to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 stars. It's definitely better than Jurassic Park 3. But this one's still not the greatest. But it's still an, ama an awesome movie. It still has... It, it, it gives us what we want in d dinosaur movies. It, if you guys haven't seen this movie, it's not one of the worst Jurassic World movies. But it's definitely the weak one, the second to weakest. So like I said, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 stars, and I'm going to give it a B+. Plus. So yeah, that is it for my review to the movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And I finally reviewed every single Jurassic Park movie and every single Jurassic World movie. So yeah, this has been one hell of a ride in my opinion. Definitely one of the best, my new favorite franchises of all, fan one of my favorite movie franchises of all time. So yeah, that is it for my review to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I might review The World's End tomorrow, but we'll see. Or maybe today I might. I'm I'm probably going to watch another movie today, maybe, but we'll see. I don't know which one it will be yet. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my review to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe, plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody, adios. Have a good day.